I don't know what a mushroom stamp yeah, is. What is. What is a mushroom stamp? Mushroom stamp, I believe, is I think is whenever you like slap a girl's head with the with the tip of your cock, but it's like a this, your head your dick's the shape of mushroom, <clears> but you would <throat> do it so hard that it would push back, and then it would turn Don's dick into a clit. <laughs> do more acting i don't think you need to get better at lying mm. that sounds dangerous not even just to get practice acting i just want to do the act of acting <coughs> oh <coughs> why it just seems fun mm. it seems fun because i don't ever do it and then whenever it gets bad then i just will stop doing it but i don't know i enjoy filming things when i was in la it was fun like actually like filming things and then also you just give it to an editor so yeah i'm curious about this setup was it like they literally just like it was all set up for them you guys walk in you do your bit you yeah, fuck yeah off the person and... that made the set and then like got all the <clears> stuff <throat> for the shoot the camera guy set up all the lights and stuff and he he's awesome too they used like a at least for like the skit that we did he used like a cinema camera you're talking about the super mega thing or? yeah right. and uh but from there it was just like do a bunch of takes Funny takes, get through it, bunch of laughs, hee hee, and then just film all your shots, and then the editor takes it. Mm. Yeah. Except I think Matt is editing that video because also Matt and Ryan are like editors in, in their own right too. So mm -hmm. I just I never understood why you would continue editing if you didn't have to. I think Pete. I think that they like enjoy it. Like I think it's the same reason why like me and Don, I think like to be a part of like the animation process of like kind of feels nice having your touch on something still yeah i don't get that at all like i obviously i i edit the <laughs> fuck out of those ads or like i did but moment i found like uh people who could do it for me like <coughs> i would happily never <clears throat> never edit one of those ads again i think that like there's probably a difference too though between filming or editing like an ad which you're just like this is a product placement versus like something funny with your friends that you get to see all the clips first and you get to like rearrange it and organize it and put it together. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but like those ads aren't just a product placement for me. Like they are obviously like very creative and I put a lot of... You put a lot of effort into it, but you mm. also bitch about the entire process. So I feel like there's like That's a layer... <laughs> I feel like there's a layer of resentment. Not to say that the ads are anything less than, you know, because <coughs> there is a lot of effort and shit that goes into it. But I think like it's like on the verge of divorce. It's like a relationship on the verge of divorce. I feel like that's just my general take in general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I see. I, sometimes I think that we, uh, when we, whenever we feel some, film something funnier, we're always just like, are the takes funny? Let me see the takes and stuff. Mm. So I think that if you were at the forefront of that, but also at the same time, they could just like editing. I, mean, I don't fucking yeah. know. Yeah, fair enough. I think it's like the same kind of like artistic integrity mm. thing of being like, I did that edit. It look, looks really good. I just think all of the like <laughs> real artistic integrity in terms of editing, not the same for like animation because obviously like that's actually art, but is all in like the writing and shot choice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I disagree. Edit, I edit's like a huge factor. I just don't think it's like that artful. I think you can, there's so much to pacing and stuff. I though. think you can take also like a edit. very, you can take a mediocre shoot and elevate mm. it highly. That's like mm. a big thing with like reality television. Reality television, they like make you sign shit too. That's like, we can like make you look. It's like, it's like squid game. You sign away your body. Pretty much, they're just like we're gonna. Make, we can make you look like the villain, like you're having a fucking mental breakdown, and they're all able to do that with just like people being in a place and just being like, you know, oh, I hope this is good, but they put the stings and all sorts of shit in it to make you think like, you know, like what a fucking bitch. You don't know her at all, but Stacy's like, hey, a whore. Yeah, exactly. I'm not like yeah, I'm not blind to what editing can do to elevate something. I just think that itself is an artistic art form. Like I think that has large inherent value as well. It, it has large inherent value. I just. I guess I don't know if it's like an art form to me, but I guess that's such a subjective term that it's almost irrelevant to even talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think editing it's, is definitely an art form. Hmm. Definitely. There's got, like, I guess you'd have to figure out what makes an art form, but maybe this doesn't sound like very funny. Mm. I think it's, well, it's like any form of creative communication. Where did you this can, come from? Yeah, I didn't bring it here. I probably brought it in here last time to blow my nose. Yeah. Mm. I don't think the cameras can see it, though, so... Oh, no, it's fine. I just wanted somewhere to mm -hmm. put my gum, but I didn't know if I wanted to touch you, the gub-gub roll. 
Put the get. Oh, okay. I shit yeah, I and wipe my ass all over it. That'd be retarded, but we both thought that he was going to do that. So. Uh, what did you think I was going to do? I thought you were going to put it in the thing. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> they have childlike minds. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That sounds like a like a deep analytical discussion <clears throat> to be had, not on camera. I don't know if we'll get any good good bits from talking about if editing's like a true art form or not. I think a lot of people like shop talk, Tom. I think you need to accept that. Okay. Well, what do you think? Before and we're going to have we we're going to have shop talk the show happening soon, and it's going to be soon. I don't know when that's going to be, but it will happen at some point. Your shop talk partner mm -hmm. is not a is not a soon kind of guy. <sighs> I'm going to have to build that truck myself too. So, we're never going to have Yeah, a truck. we were trying to we quoted a guy, a set mm -hmm. builder, cuz Hunter flew out to LA. Mm -hmm. He saw this big set and he said, "We should just get somebody to make it." <laughs> let's get some let's get somebody to make a fake truck in Austin, Texas. Like a fake ice cream <clears throat> truck for the cream yeah, crew. Because that hole back there, for people that don't know, that's supposed to be like the garage way. I know that you're probably just like, they, that's just what is that? You know, I don't know what that is. Cause we haven't done anything to really resemble that this is supposed to be a garage mm -hmm. besides shelves. Mm -hmm. But shelves go in a lot of places. So <laughs> it's kind of hard to know. <laughs> But we were trying to get a, somebody to make an uh, ice cream truck that could open up, and if we had guests, they'd walk through. It was going to be this nice big thing. It was, it was cute. Mm -hmm. Was it not? Was it a cute? Cute super, idea. Super cute. Very cute. <clears throat> so we got the quote back, and it was $22,000 to build a... But what essentially was, when they, <laughs> when they sent it back... We did just do a Nord ad, so... True. Peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> True. The... Uh, it was basically just one of those like <coughs> self-towing U-Hauls, except painted pink. Mm. And that would have cost $22,000. Which begs the question, do you just see if you can't find kind of a run-down tow-it-yourself U-Haul thing? Well, that's not... I mean, that's, that wouldn't even work, though. He didn't fully understand. Well, they... Well, they Mocked up as twice as big as it ought to be, you know, because also oh, only twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, I, I, <laughs> part of the quote was for the um the freezer thing, and they he thought I meant like a like a meat walker, like a giant, like a fucking room, you know. But but I mean, even still, I don't want to pay ten grand for a truck. We just think, put a do, giant do, also could you say like could you just make it out of wood? Yeah, that's what I want too. I mean, I, that's I was, what you said initially. No, 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 no. I I was gonna send this big email back asking, can we do this, this, and this, but I kind of just dropped it because I don't see them going from 20 grand for a truck. Well, I think I could be like, hey, uh, first off, what the fuck is this? Because mm -hmm. did what did you initially say? Did you say it's going to go in a house or whatever? <clears throat> yeah, I explained all of it, but the only way to contact them was through a portal on their site, so I couldn't send like a sketch or anything. So I, I think it was just a miscommunication. I they think that you could lead with that. Because yeah, you yeah. could make the whole fucking thing out of wood and it would yeah. be just as fine. Because yeah. they're probably talking about like welding. And well, yeah, that was a, he, he said like, he made it sound like they're going to a... a junkyard to basically acquire the truck and then use bondo to put it back together and it's like yeah sounds like maybe you need to talk to them again also how did you say what what, what, what was your description you used for the ice cream machine <coughs> i i may have messed up i said a commercial freezer a commercial freezer yeah, yeah. that's big well, like an ice cream cake. why didn't you why didn't you I just should have say said an ice cream cake Freezer, like uh, you should, yeah, you should, you should have just said yeah. one of those soda pop freezers that you see, yeah, yeah. standalone, or even just except like, with no, like with no. I'm, shelves a, I'm, a, I'm gonna message him it, back. It's, it's like a meter and a half tall by. Here, and I hear these guys are. You know what they're gonna say no is because they're gonna probably be like get their dicks all hard, being like we got like a, a potential pretty big project coming in. <laughs> and then you're someone wants a commercial you're, you're, you're freezer come back and be like <laughs> no metal, only wood. The thing about it, though, like as I said, this is for a podcast set. Yeah, they had, yeah, I mean, it, they had the email. It, it, it is odd. If they did like even two seconds, of, also, it's like, yeah, this 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 hundred k sub channel can afford twenty grand for the set. We said that it's for a podcast set and stuff too, in a like right. in a house or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't clarify it was on a second story of a house. Well, that, that, yeah, that needs. To so be. here's another thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're gonna get because they're probably thinking, oh, they have a huge garage door thing. We'll just wheel it in, mm -hmm. and it goes into a set like a big shooting commercial space. So now you need to tell them also, like, hey, needs to fit through a regular home doorway in pieces mm -hmm. and be assembled here. Also, it needs to be able to weigh, like, just enough to where it won't collapse in the flooring 
<laughs> on the roof. I feel like we're working our way to a pitch of moving into a new space with a garage door. No, I'm just saying you need to make it where it's like a piece by piece to where it, it, it comes in in panels and stuff. No, I know. But I think the thing I is, the commercial space too. <laughs> it is. It is not that hard. I could have described it better, but I think these guys they make like real shit, not bullshit. You know. So yeah, I think he just tackled it like he would Dude, tackle. Dude, if, if he told me we make real the shit, the bullshit, I'd be like, make, then fake it. Yeah. Well, that's the, then, that's then the fake email. it. I think. Also, it's like, why would I need this to be don't, practical? It's a mm-hmm. fake set. Do I mean all my well, when, put when real you say, ice cream in there too? I think when shit? you say real shit, you mean like just bigger shit for bigger clients. Yeah, I think, what you mean? Yeah, it's I don't to, think he well, means like a real truck. The, the, the mm. plan they made was to make something that looks for all rights like a real fucking truck. Right. You know. So. Mm. Yeah, I, Why don't we just like I was not have clear a enough. different idea that's cheaper and easier? I th- True. I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> every every mention of improving this room, it's just negativity. Well, no, it's an improvement. It's just you a more reachable asshole. improvement. <clears throat> I don't like you. Fuck you, Tom. This is how the empire was formed. Mm. We're gonna stab him later. <laughs> you're Caesar. You're gonna stab. You're gonna stab me with a twenty thousand dollar knife. I'd be like, fine, you stabbed me, but you went bankrupt in the process. <coughs> that would taste so much. You stronger. could you could have used a two dollar knife from Walmart no, no, and killed no. me just the same. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you you would you would realize that that twenty. I mean, like I would pull it out. It would look all shiny. It looked awesome. <laughs> it kept me up last night too. I'm I'm like fixated on making it happen. That's the was, that's like part really of the sad. problem though, isn't that's it? That's what I'm afraid of. That's not what I'm afraid of. It's it's the problem is you get mm-hmm. that like tunnel vision on stuff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then yeah. it's like it has to be exacting perfect i would much i would be living my best life building an ice cream truck i'm making you'd be living cream. on the fucking street mm. yeah. best life in a cardboard box I'd be enjoying myself some some <laughs> people some people think you know is it worth it if you're happy if it's if it's really all about happiness you know yeah mm. if i was much happier but in building an ice cream truck and living in a tiny house but i felt much happier than do you think you'd, you'd be much happier on the street <clears throat> in a know. cardboard box probably you know i think there's like a you could a, live in a challenger yeah, that's true. You'd be happy in your challenger? <laughs> Will that ruin a stretch out? Uh-huh. That is true. The Dodge, the, the Dodge Caliber I stayed in did have full down seat. Like I, it was pretty comfortable. Mm. I feel like the sports car may be a bit tricky. Is that like an SUV? Cobra? It's like a hatchback. Okay. Kind yeah. of thing. I mean, you've said yourself you were happiest when you were homeless. In I was happier place. than I am now. I wouldn't yeah, say yeah. I was at my happiest. Oh, well, what was happiest? Where was? Explain that. Probably when I was 12. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's right whenever your dick starts getting really hard and the world is is a little brighter for a little bit until you immediately realize that you're not, you know, attractive, smart, anything really. And I never had start. those realizations. Mm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You're still living your best life. Then. Yeah, it's just. Like I don't this. know. Moral of the story is this is supposed to be a garage. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> garage door. Uh, a stock room. Actually, a stock room. Just do yeah. a garage door and like paint something cool on it. But that would be gay. It, less, it would be more gay than a truck, I admit. Mm-hmm. But it wouldn't be more gay than mm-hmm. cardboard boxes. I don't know. I got obs- when I went out to there, I got obsessed with that commercial space. The 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 endless possibilities in a large room. I think mm-hmm. you just my get- dick got hard. Oh, yeah, my dick got hard. I understand Looking that part. At, look, my dick got hard <laughs> fixating on fake walls. We've my got dick, fake walls. My dick was so hard with fake walls mm. on wheels. There are fake walls in here. No, they're and not they're on wheels. wheels. And are on they're skewed. There's fake, those, those those fake wall right there on wheels. Yeah. Well, we need more of those. <laughs> <laughs> they, were lar- they were large double-sided ones, so they're multi-purpose. Mm. Uh, okay. They, they, they flip that stage inside out for other stuff? They have a... Uh, Two more shows that they do. Uh, okay. No, that one's like a permanent like fixture. <clears throat> yeah, because like all the wiring and, and right. shit. But <clears throat> right. I uh, I am just concerned you you get restless feet syndrome, and you're like, do you know what I want now? I want to live in a commercial space. I definitely feel that way about this set. I right. think that I, I, I think that it's mm-hmm. I think it's fair what you're saying, but I think also there's just multiple factors since the beginning that mm. have made me, but. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Like I'm. It's not like I'm like we have to go now. I'm just saying my dick got hard. Yeah, <laughs> nice and hard. Okay, just want to make that known. My hard just, R really just like drives just, it home. Yeah, it's just my dick got <clears> hard. hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. Hard cock. 
I, I hate to be the responsible adult. I don't hate it at all. I love it. But I, I hate to be the responsible adult and have to put reins on both of you. How much did the framing lady pay for that space? I thought we worked out that Do you it know what? Was, was not bad. She, I think it was as cheap as renting this. Yeah. It was cheaper. She said it was 1800 bucks. Yeah. But that's, it's... That's uh, I mean, hey. Crazy. Like I keep saying, if there's good reason to do it, I'm down. Mm. If it's that much cheaper and that much more space, like, let's break the fucking lease. But right. it's just got to be real and not, like... <laughs> I, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm just saying, that's I literally just, also my dick got hard looking at the space. Lots of um setup costs that need to be appreciated, like erecting I, fake walls for offices. You know, if you, if you just have a giant space like that mm -hmm. that has no borders or anything, yeah, you yeah. will go insane. Yeah, mm. true. Yeah, I mean, we plus like. I, I decked out my office so nicely with all this stuff mm -hmm. and then that's, we just that's, that's how I feel too I don't want to you know you're not even finished <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you're gonna put the final fucking thing uh, on the wall and we're gonna me. all right tear it down yeah. Don but I mean that like sunk cost is a fallacy right so maybe mm -hmm. it's not something to keep in mind but still would be sad maybe it just puts a little little fire underneath your ass for next time I did my office in record time yeah pretty quick very not quick. quick, not quick enough, but quick, not quick, quick. enough. Mm. You set up some paint quick, yeah, and you got some furniture. Okay, and then it took you nine months to get like three paintings framed. I know that I've got plenty of time to work with. Mm. No offense. True. It's like if if we had to do it in a week, I'd do it in a week. But I have like unlimited time. Mm -hmm. So, see, that's the problem, though, Tom. Mm. You know, you have all this time, you put it off instead of having all this time, just getting it done anyways. What difference does it make? Well, these things right here. Let's say a tornado hit the house. It wouldn't because we don't live in a tornado alley. But <laughs> right. you're like, I thought I had time. You didn't. Mother Nature came around and just <laughs> really around knocked cake. knocked that out of me. <laughs> Damn, Hunter, you make good points. Mm. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Also, just why would you not want to get it done as soon as you could? It's uh for the paintings specifically something to ruminate on. I don't plan to spend a lot of money on paintings over the course of my life. So when I do, I want it to be right. What do you have left to do anyway? I've just got to get like also, one you only more have painting. One painting. The rest are just prints, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, prints, paintings, like right. tomato, tomato. Well, no. Okay. Tomato, tomato. Okay. So I don't like how you say them in reverse. What's it supposed to be? <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Oh well, I put the right one first, mm. and then the wrong one second. You guys say tomato. Yeah, you uh, guys say tomato. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, proceed. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's, that's it, really. Well, what else do you have left to do? I just got to get one more print. How many more months do we have on this lease? <clears throat> Probably uh, until the summer, right? Yeah, it would be June, I think. Leases are breakable. Well, I would feel bad leaving the lease. Why? Well, it just, you know, com the camaraderie of the group, right? No, he just... The group goes <clears throat> with you. Yeah, I think he was talking about getting a commercial. Wait, oh, what, no, what, I'm, what are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about fleeing. You no, know, right. But, but now you're oh. From the studio. But now you're talking about feeling bad. Seriously. Well, you know, it's like human nature type but shit. Why really do you want to flee from the studio? Oh, I don't know, Tom. Why would I after this conversation? I get. I don't know. I, I get combated <laughs> left and right. I, wanna be, you, I, I thought wanna you be, were I coming after me. Fake walls. I was, I was Talk maybe. hard. Oh, fake walls. <laughs> combated. <laughs> Hunter, maybe we should think about this first. I'm fleeing! No, I, I think... <laughs> I feel ganged up on! Ah, oh, come on. Hunter. Mm. <sighs> I just need to pull something up to calm down a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. <sighs> Mamma mia. Puppy got a case of diarrhea. Please don't tell me you're about to do that. No, I was just gonna watch Filthy Rich, the Jeffrey Epstein documentary. Fuck that! Huh. I mean, log into the internet without protecting your data with NordVPN. Oh, I'm surprised! No one protects your data so no one can see what you choose to look at in your free time. Plus, ah! Plus, you can find content from anywhere in the world, so you don't have to be limited by the kind of stuff you want to watch. Really? Well, I have been looking for some more crazy documentaries. If you go to NordVPN.com forward slash cream and sign up for two years, you'll get a heavy discount and one month for free. Awesome! Get out! Get, get out! Get out of my room! I, I think it's just the, the, the amount of time and mental turmoil that goes into any decision.
mm. is just crazy. So that if we did move, right, mm-hmm. and we did set up whatever, it would be the most drawn out process of like, all right, you guys got a one year lease, whatever. Month four. Do I want? Well, how do we do? We want to organize this still mm. instead of me going up to the guy, spit in our hands, have a nice firm handshake. So what do you do with this place? Nah, don't worry about it. Boom, shut the door, get business started. Yeah. Maybe I hire some small Guatemalan men to help clean up the place. Well, they become my new we best definitely friends. have to talk about that. They become Tom and Don for me. Right. That is not their names. It's very hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of your greatest strengths is your blitzkrieg attitude towards things. But uh, blitzkriegs that, can backfire, That's, how, that's how the Germans won, won World War II. <laughs> Yeah, uh, more of a more of an allies, you know, plan before executing. Open up Drop another the bomb. soft that's underbelly. That's definitely a big. That was planned. So you have to learn how to split the atom first. You think they're just like, oh, we're just gonna drop the bomb. They're like, no, let's go to the drawing board. Let's figure this out. Mm. You know, let's hire a bunch of Nazis to figure out how to do this. The ones that didn't blitzkrieg. <laughs> <laughs> they hired the the good Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who planned. <laughs> the eggheads in the bag. <laughs> That's cracked. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're fucking Mr. Wormax getting shot up on the front line because all you could think to do is charge into Poland. I But I die with a smile on my face. Yeah, you got to kill untold versus slabs. Versus you're the fucking stupid dope that sat there who's just like, I am the cr- devourer of worlds. I oh, have become death. That guy was Jewish. I'm a Nazi in this scenario. He fucking, it doesn't track. He, he was one of the men that fucking made the bomb. Yeah, but we were saying I was a Nazi scientist. Now, if I'm a Jewish scientist, it's fine, but let's keep it straight. <laughs> I, just, I just want consistency. <laughs> this is why I'm the scientist. Is, every, 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 everyone in here is trying to calculate whether it was like normal to know that guy was Jewish. Oh, Oppenheimer. Uh, Oppenheimer. Sounds like a German name. Oppenheimer. Well, a lot of, I mean, like... Yeah. Oops, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Well, there, there did happen to be a lot of Jews in Germany, right? That's kind of why the yeah, whole Holocaust yeah, yeah. happened well, that's, there. That's and, why they had to kick that one off. There's too yeah, many of them. They were all congregating <laughs> in one area. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> gross jokes from gross men. Mm. So anyways, I want to do the Blitzkrieg maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I wonder if we could just find a guy that like makes tables. Just like a woodworker guy, you know. For what? To build a truck for eighty dollars. For eighty dollars. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to put eighty eighty dollars co- labor and whatever the material cost is, you know. Let's give us a So breakdown. we'll give you like, I don't know, a couple grand for the wood and everything else and does eighty bucks sound cool with do all this? Okay. What <clears> happened <throat> to spit in your hand and make a deal? I'm not talking about shortcoming anybody in that. I sign, I sign leases, I sign checks, and I spit in hands and shake hands. You don't spit in hands. I do. You, you refuse to spit in hand with me on camera. Well, you are it's a not gypsy. True. Not true. Your, your saliva might set his hand on fire. Mm. <laughs> 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 no! How's the DNA test coming? I haven't taken it yet. I'm still thinking about it. Thinking about how many. Yeah, do but I don't know why I asked. You're proving Hunter's point right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. That was a I, don't I think it's unfair that I get lumped in. I, yeah. I am slower than you, certainly, but I am not as slow as to lump me in with Don. You are at the whim of him, though. Mm-hmm. So it's by extension. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. I can't argue that. But also, I think that he has influenced you in, in a way. It's very possible. Your autistic, perfectionist mindsets have plagued your minds. We have probably hurt each other immeasurably in our different areas, autism combining into one turbo autism that is, yeah, ineffective in many ways. Mm. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. I, I would, yeah, I would say so. Mm-hmm. But I also think that's just from isolation. Mm-hmm. You put two people on an island for that long, they're obviously going to be outcasted from the rest of humanity. Huh. <laughs> 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 ah, yeah, well, you know. If you have sex with, if you have anal intercourse, it will break the spell, and you guys will return back to normal. <sighs> you sure? I, I think I'm gonna finish this room today. <laughs> I, I actually don't like you, Tom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just... We can finally break. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel like that's actually it's almost you, like I can't look at you anymore. You, you have you <laughs> post nut clarity from each other. Maybe the post nut clarity be that we love each other very much, Don. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Maybe that would be once all the lost of out of our system. We're fucking. Uh, we'd appreciate each other for what would, we bring and not who, what we take. Who would be top? Who would be bottom? I mean, I'd be top or power bottom. Whatever, whatever puts me in the power position. <laughs> whatever makes me the Chad. That's right. We'll discuss it <laughs> and agree. <laughs> uh. I'm not having any demolition <laughs> man sex. <laughs> the we'll idea of a power bottom is so dry. funny to me. It is. Yeah. We talked about that on stream a long time ago. You would have Just, to, like, hold on for dear life. Yeah, yeah. That's how I would assert myself. Like a fucking bronco. Yeah. <laughs> Smashing me into a wall. Yeah. I would have to get you up against a wall. That's what I mean. Because otherwise yeah, you're yeah. falling out. And I'm, like, punching through the drywall. Yeah, Just you're so like, tall. You're like this. Uh, this is the ceiling. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't know if you could handle my power bottom, mm. bottom in Don. I'm not sure I could. Yeah. Only, only, only I would one transition know, you on the spot. Hmm? I would transition you on the spot. Does mm. that mean like transgender? Like you, yeah. would, you would be- Yeah, I'd fucking invert his cock. My <laughs> power bottoming would be so powerful. Just, I'm a woman now. Yeah, I would like, <laughs> poof, and his cock would just be like, <laughs> inside of him. He'd be like, ah! And that's what would happen. Pro when you say these things, you're trying to like visualize it and make it work. Like- It'd be like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah, well, you, you'd have to have like a- like a fleshy, like, candy corn shaped thing to punch my dick into my body. Hmm? Like, how, like, how would it work? How would you punch? I, I, think, would, I think it would be So it'd be like this, right? Yes. right? Here's your dick. Okay. And I would be, here's my butthole. <laughs> and I just, boom! And then. I don't think you know the, what a power bottom is. It's the guy, the guy on bottom is doing all the fucking powering. <clears throat> I thought. Like the, a jackhammer. No, I don't no, think you know what a power bottom is. The guy, I thought it was the guy, uh. Is that actually what it is? I thought it, I thought it was just meant like still dick, but it's just like bot, like a bottom position. I didn't know that it was actually. No, it's it's very enthusiastic. I don't even know getting yeah, okay. fucked by the dick. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like straight. <laughs> you're such a you're such a fucking breeder. I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, let's go. Can I try it? No. <laughs> so you you. <laughs> Right, mm. and then all of that force is like an anime. It's like, yeah, but no, but all the and then and then is, all the force is here. It's my dick. Is it's around. It's like a force field my, oh. surrounds everything, <laughs> and then that force is nowhere to go because I'm clenching so tight, mm. and the only way is out and in. So mm. your cock's like, <laughs> and it Nonsense. goes right inside of you. You know what I would have accepted, Tom, hmm? is if your balloon knot was so tight that the dick couldn't get through because the dick was weak, and then it just broke it in. You know, oh, I, I would find I, you, I would find a way to get. I in. thought that you were going some kind of angle of like, like coal, where your your ass is so tight around his cock that it transforms it almost into like a diamond type thing. Except it it transforms it like the the amount of pressure changes it in general. Changes Tom's dick into a diamond <clears throat> and yeah, somehow man. inserts it back into his body. Well, then it just breaks off. Well, no, I'm not saying it breaks off. It goes back in. It doesn't make. I any make sense. you a woman. It doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. He can't make it make sense because it doesn't make sense because it wouldn't happen. It absolutely happened. <laughs> <Not happen. laughs> no, 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 -uh. no, <laughs> no times infinity. I would still, <laughs> I would still have a dick. Actually, I, hey, everyone in the comments, actually, you actually, tell me, would actually, I power bomb so hard that I Don's still, dick inverts and he becomes a woman? Doesn't make any make it make sense? Then maybe you're not making any sense. You don't have a force field. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very powerful. And round, oh, and some would say ghetto. Explain the science. Bottom. Explain the science of the force field. Where does it come from? It's not a science, Don. It's not. And right, I thought someone like you would appreciate that. Explain the art of the force field. Where does the force field come from? My fucking fat dump truck what is the has got so many horsepowers in it. Okay, what is that it, it backs of? up like a hurricane? What is the force field and your of? cock just fucking <laughs> right into you, okay. right into your abdomen, uh, you know, right I'm, through your heart, stakes you like a I'm vampire. You turn to this. dust. That's so what you're saying that you reverse mushroom stamp him. What that the fuck is a mushroom stamp? Would you do that if you're a dick? But you would you would go so hard against his cock that it would like mushroom stamp himself. I don't know what a mushroom stamp is. What is, what is a mushroom stamp? Mushroom stamp, I believe, is I think is whenever you like slap a girl's head with the with the tip of your cock, but it's like a the, your head of your dick's the shape of mushroom. <clears> but you would do it so hard that it would push back, and then it would turn Don's dick into a clit. <laughs> Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, that's what I was talking about. If it's a solid face that he's like 
smashing into this with. That makes more sense. But he's trying to come. Um, I like the idea, though, if, if if his ass is that tight and he's like. That's what I mean. And if he's bucking like a Bronco. There's nowhere for it to go. If he's, yeah. if he's bucking like a Bronco, he's a power bottom, that you would still like shake. He'd be shaking your hands, like approaching him. Easy. Easy. This stallion ain't never been broken. Never will be either. I feel like you will be broken. You're going to be like a sea biscuit. Mm -mm. Your heart's going to get uh, out. I'm, I'm running around like acetic. You. <laughs> <laughs> acetic. You always going to do is just going to throw like a fucking he's going to he's going to be like you want some you want some, you want a treat and you're like I'm just, I'm just like you're going to eat it. It's a fucking square of cheese and you're like oh, no, it's dairy. dairy. That's what he just said. Square of cheese. Oh, to oh to deploy him. Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, well, you're like, like, no, 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 see this hey, guy is so tender. He's like, like, I can't feed him that. No, no, no. no I'm just trying to make I it make can't sense. Feed him that, Hunter. It would not. It does not make sense. Feed him that, Hunter. He would not eat the cheese. This horse doesn't like cheese. No, times infinity. This horse doesn't like cheese. Okay. He, what he would eat is a fucking Your foot cock? long French loaf. And it wouldn't touch him because he's powerful. Huh? You could soak it in milk and dry it out. Mm -hmm. uh, he's trying to like poison always, me. I'm he, trying to help you here. No, he always asks. He will not eat any bread. And Don can't lie. So. Yeah, so fucking check me. <laughs> is anyone getting the sense that I yes. would be a power bottom and Don yes. would be this, this yes. soy boy? Yes, there's milk. <laughs> well, I can't have it. Damn. <laughs> well, another, I guess I'm being turned into foiled. a woman then. Damn you, honesty and truth. You hear that, God? I better have a nice cozy bed waiting up there for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel, yes, times infinity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so... I'm not buying it. You haven't explained the, the mechanics of the Don, you get turned into vampire dust. Okay? You figure the rest out. <laughs> Look at the bitch in Terminator 2. <laughs> Except holding on to my hips. <laughs> it's such a fucking gross visual thing about you two. Yeah, you started it. You're like, well, just I think it's to the island. All down to his hips. He's like all naked. He looks like a fucking like imagine one of those, my one of those prize down I am become planner. death. It's just Tom Destroyer ass. of worlds. So, so you're looking down. <laughs> <laughs> like ramming it, and then you look up, and it's just him looking over his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> B B A S E D. In my Nazi scientist outfit, and that's why I want my <laughs> my own space. Until <laughs> why do you want to flee? You know what we should do? We should have me leave. I'll get a little scarecrow. I'll get somebody to get one of those sex dolls with the open mouth, and I'll put an iPad. We don't need two eyes. Dons in the office. I put I put an iPad. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that was gay and dumb. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a childlike thing to say for you too. <laughs> Someone burns at the lunch table. That was gay <laughs> and dumb. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, you oh, suck, dude. <laughs> I'm a not, rapper, though. We're not trading Yu Gi Oh cards <laughs> later. You're not invited to my house anymore. <laughs> I remember this one kid one time in school. Some of, one of his friends made fun of him. He's like, I'm not trading you my red eyes black dragon after school. He's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you said you would. He's like, no. Damn, that's just a kid looking for a way out. He was never trading that card. Yeah. I'd have called that fucker's bluff. He sat there, he like opens up his like book bag and he like sees like the Joey 10. <laughs> it just shines like gold. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Pulp Fiction. Oh, it's in like four different cases because he thinks it's, he thinks it's that valuable. <laughs> He's got like an attack power of 1800. What a fucking idiot. I had friends that played for a card once, and they were supposed to- Pink slips. Yeah, well, they were supposed to swap, wave one of them lost, and then he lost, and he started crying. What a fucking- uh, Give it over! Uh, uh, well, this, give it! No, it was funny, he was- the other kid, you know, he wasn't letting him go, but he was trying to be diplomatic. He's like, come on, like, the rule- are we That's just, just gonna, what we Are did. we just gonna make rules and not follow the rules? Are we yeah. men? Yeah. Are we men or are not? We, are we this not? is like junior year of college. <laughs> <laughs> The kind of guy I hung out with. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> you're like you're like eating you're like eating dinner on the couch, like watching TV. <clears throat> you guys rule. <laughs> I have this dickhead friend overseas. Yeah. 
Is that what you said? Is that what you would tell people at school? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got, I've got this other friend. He's my best friend. I only, I only talk to him. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you guys leave me alone. Don, you have to pay rent. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> my friend Tom said I don't have to do anything. Go talk to Tom in my room. <laughs> <laughs> we're making yeah. this. We're, we're making this cartoon that's gonna own the uh, uh, feminist <laughs> bitches out there. But that's fine, cool. But you have to pay rent. No, <laughs> slam the door. And we did own the feminist bitches, and here we are. That's that's how you keep company. And here with. you are on your island. Yeah. <laughs> The Dang problem guys, is, Hunter. It's me and you forever. Tony, guys, got fuck. Get that post nut clarity. Hunter. If you would have fucked back then, you'd have been like, yeah, he was a, a <laughs> he, bad man. He was a bad guy, actually. <laughs> Will you guys still be my friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just come out of my dorm room dejected and just close the door. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will you guys still be my friend? No, fuck you, dude. By the way, don't dead name me. I'm a woman now. <laughs> no, no. no, no. <laughs> I got my he cock. ejected I, my I, cock I, into I, my cock. John, what's going on? You're turning to I dust. I rejected. <laughs> zombie dust. <laughs> rejected. You walk out bald. I'm, all, I'm only working skin. within the realm of facts, <laughs> stuff that makes sense, and it makes no sense. You can't make it make sense. Everyone here knows it makes sense. He got sense. his, mm. but I never got mine. I <laughs> never. I sound like the word of a fucking yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Problem is, Hunter, you're on this island too. I like to think that you I'm think on you're a so small... high and mighty, no, 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 but no, 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 no. No, there you are no, watching us. I'm on my own island. I'm on a small yacht by myself. Is this your own island? Yes. Okay. Well, you're delusional. <laughs> That's fine. Let me. I'll live in delusion. <laughs> then. I like to imagine I'm on a small yacht hovering around the island, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm but I'm pointing at you guys, saying, "Haha, you're stuck," but I'm not really going anywhere either. <laughs> So I'm kind of on my own thing. You you are like but I forever trapped in the gravitational yeah, pull of fa- my power. I fantasize motioning. about turning that boat and heading off, but I can't. Why can't you? Why why can't you head I'm off? I'm a loser. <laughs> I'm a fucking I'm loser, a fucking dude. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fucking piece of shit. I'm out of gas. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of floating. <laughs> he was pushing me up to shore, and I had to like. Push it off and like hop back in. This is, this is getting very metaphorical and deep. <coughs> yeah, I'm like gassed, you guys. I'm yeah. out. This hunter's endlessly orbiting the island. You know the fuck island mm. that yeah. he desperately wants to be on. Yeah. In it. This is me trying to look at binoculars and shit. Oh my god! I see him. The fucking you guys just earth, like two, like, the you earth like shattering two. quakes from my ass, causing like rip tides that you can't escape from. <laughs> There's a volcano going up. No, no, it's it's not that. It's Trevor with you. Can I say something about this drink? Yeah, go ahead. I love, 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 love <clears throat> Starbucks during the holiday season because they get me my nice little peppermint mocha. Good stuff. <clears throat> you don't even understand when I went to Starbucks Day and they had the Christmas border around their mm-hmm. menu. I was like, uh-oh. Where does Starbucks get their Pacific Islanders from? What? I don't think I've ever been to a Starbucks that hasn't had a Pacific Islander overweight woman working there. Not once. And I pay very close attention. <laughs> we know you pay attention. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never made that observation. You myself. will now. Tell me I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, boys. My facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. My facts don't care about your feelings. Sorry, tell me more about the Starbucks Christmas menu since that was so dry and boring. Well, they also have <laughs> my my. Don't thing. laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> you know, just, hey, a, I do. Have, it wasn't funny. He's I'm my the bad he's man. He's my friend. <laughs> I'm the bad. He's my friend. <laughs> See, you can't friend. quit me. Be my friend, Hunter. You can't quit me. No. Come on back, baby. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. I miss you, love. Whenever you get your guys' wives or girlfriends leave you, do you think that you guys will be wingmen together? Oh, speaking of, everyone thinks I'm married now. Yeah, I saw. So fucking, like, I was like, oh, this guy's an idiot. I saw two dozen people. Yeah, I told them all that you're Hey, congrats, Don. You're married. You told them all that my wife. He basically is. Your girlfriend's like, I, I saw the podcast. I saw the podcast. Mm-hmm. And she's all fucking happy. You're getting married. You're like, baby, no, it's oh, a joke. No. I'm no. a fucking joke. Baby, is that what I am? I'm a joke. You are. You're God, I'm hot right now. I'm gonna fuck you. Thank you. You're a clown. Thank you for putting me in my place. Hey, when you get home, you're look at her right in the clown. look at her right in the face and say, 
what are you all dressed up for? Mm-hmm. She's like, what do you mean? You look like a clown. <laughs> She's like, your big shoes and your where, nose, Where'd clown? your dick go? There's just a hole there. <laughs> You're turning Don't worry to about dust. It. Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a force field, I would be dust. <laughs> I would be dust. I would be staked and but I'd be dust. Is, but there is no force field, so because, therefore I'm not dust. <laughs> because I'm a gypsy. Mrs. Johnson, tell him to stop saying I'm made of dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Hinchcliffe, <laughs> tell stop to tell Dust. Stop saying I'm dust. <laughs> he, he keeps saying he's gonna fuck me with his into ass dust. into dust. You guys ever stay over at a friend's house and like it didn't right. go as planned and okay, and then you it didn't go as planned <laughs> and you end up getting a fight with your friend and then, like the mom or like the dad has to like bring you two back yeah. together for your petty drama or just go home. Yeah, yeah. Or your yeah. I just I don't know how you could trust the parent. You just mm. know there's an allegiance there, like an inherent. They're not going to be well, you're a unbiased. Kid, you don't know. I know. <laughs> I know. You don't I know. know. I know a lot of things. <laughs> you don't. You don't get the dad's like okay, fucking, and you're like okay, this guy's not. Being you, fair. Well, yeah, never, never as a child. I don't think anyone would ever compute that as a child. No, I've, I felt that too, though. Actually, mm. I did because we I'm we you did just that. can't quit me, baby. He loves that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> claim actually <that> ass. <laughs> we uh, we say it. Hey. <laughs> when, I, when I was a boy, I we lived with two other boys and their mom in the basement because she was, you know, the economy and stuff. So she you lived, lived with them. They lived in our basement, like a, like an apartment. <laughs> like they made our basement. So an she wasn't educated. No. Yeah. She. Yeah. But if, well, Go bas- ahead. Basically, fuck her. We're getting there though. <laughs> so she. Uh, yeah. Her boy. One. Of, her youngest boy was a huge pain in the ass and an asshole. Mm. And we would get in a fight. And then she had like a sociology degree and was like sort of like a fake mediator therapist person. And uh, she would mediate, but yeah, the, the bias towards her like little sunshine was palpable every time. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you. <clears throat> yeah, I could see that. I also think though, what a sad life that is. You're living in someone's basement and your your like career has a, like, <clears throat> has come to the point where you're mediating children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. And she just like curls back up with her like Afghan rug and... That's, well, a, that's, it, a, that's a fucking woman's dream. It was funny, though, yeah, because the deal was she was living there, but she was like our nanny, you know? She was basically to make sure we don't die like when my mom was at work. But, so while your mom went and did yeah, everything, but we. But what happened was we saw Jackass, and we made our own Jackass video. Mm. So th- there was like a video of one of her sons like jumping off our roof, like on tape. And then we showed it to them because we thought it was awesome and hilarious. And this is all news to my mom, obviously, because the woman's entire job is to make sure we don't jump off the roof. You know, <laughs> so, one so entire like on, the v- on the VHS tape, you see this kid like clambering up on the roof, and she, my mom's like, "Wait, wh- what? the hell is he doing up there?" And he, she turned to uh, the you know the dumb bitch. The, yeah, the dumb bitch. And then yeah, within a few oh. weeks, within a few weeks, she was gone. And thank God. Damn, your mom don't fuck about, huh? Nope. <clears throat> like I said, she's probably curled up downstairs, like just crying and drinking wine and watching movies or some shit. Classic. It's just what my life is. I'm all used up. I'm dry. I don't know what guy wants to fuck I used to be anymore. Samantha, and now I'm Miranda. When did that happen? Is that a, a Trevor? Sex, sex, Trevor laughs. Sex, 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 Trevor, can we get you a mic? You laugh yeah. at more of my jokes like, than like, anyone else. <laughs> I, like, I like. I like when I like when you do these sketches though, is just because he's like. Yeah, what's your... Right? <laughs> that as, that as, was as, funny, as, right? As, as soon as the bit is over, it's just like, and judgment is being made right now. We wait. <laughs> Are you going to laugh? Okay, so it was a failure. All right, well, noted. Noted, yeah, then that's how I calibrate. But he laughed, so forevermore. I think he was laughing for the wrong reason. Why were you laughing, <laughs> Trevor? You, Trevor, why were you laughing? I was laughing because you're very clearly the complete wrong demographic for Sex and City. <laughs> you don't know enough about it to be like, I'm not a Love. Me and Tom love Sex and City. I love Sex and City. Well, I where, think it's great. Where's that reference from, though? It's the decline of Western civilization like who on tape in the who, 90s. Because they didn't say that in the show. <laughs> well, it's more of just a census of nobody wants to be a Miranda. Because okay. God darn, you're such a fucking casual. I am. 100%. This is why you'll never be power bottom. You need to, your Sex and the City <laughs> knowledge needs to be, Samantha's like the sexy, like owns her femininity and just like fucks around and everyone wants to fuck her. Is Miranda's this uptight is dumb bitch, ginger. No, that's Carrie. Okay. Yeah, Carrie's disgusting. Carrie's um, the worst. Yeah. I, I hate Carrie more, 
but people, mm-hmm. women would prefer to be Kerry than Miranda. Because yeah. at least Kerry's like mm-hmm. fucking these high class executives and mm-hmm. having Miranda's, penthouses. Miranda's kind of just like fucking all these dopey idiots and like she's more worried about her career and shit like that. She's just also like a short haired redhead that's just like kind of a huge cunt the entire show. No one mm-hmm. likes her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to say, yeah, I mean, you get it. Right. Now at this point, you should mm-hmm. be yeah. fully well versed. I'm caught up. Yeah. People wouldn't mind being a Charlotte though. That's where I personally sit. <coughs> you do not sit as Charlotte. I think I'm a Charlotte. You're not. I am a Charlotte, though, aren't I? Charlotte. I'm a Charlotte. A lot of women aren't Charlotte because Charlotte's the perfect woman. Mm-hmm. Well, she likes. She wants to be a state. Yeah, fuck off. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom. She's beautiful. You know. And uh, yeah, and then she fucking marry some fat, dopey, bald-headed Jewish guy because she's like, he loves me. She, you know, uh, she wouldn't exist. She's today. not promiscuous, you know. She's she's a good girl. Mm-hmm. She the, uh, she follows her heart. Wild side. She yeah. Every so often, you can get Charlotte out of her shell, <clears throat> okay? But she always reigns it I'm in. It's restart, not like Samantha. I'm gonna restart Sex and the City today. That's what I'm gonna do. I think that's a fucking fantastic idea. I've been watching Curb Your Enthusiasm all lately. So I've terrible. Been on, no, it's really good. Terrible idea. No, it's really good. Sex and the City. Mm-hmm. What, what do you think, Don is? What, what are you, Don? You tell me. You're uh, you're Mr. Big. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh well, Mis- I tried. Mis- Mr. Big. Yeah. You know what I like to think that you are Don. He's uh, Miranda's Steve. You're Steve. You're Steve. That's not very nice. I well, tried Steve, to make you. What are you talking about? Steve's great. Super likable. You like Steve? And he's ripped. He's Fucking liar. Steve, you don't want to be Steve. You want to be Steve, Mr. Big. Steve is the is the, like the honest, <clears throat> like good boyfriend of the show that Miranda just. Fucking dicks around the whole time, but he's a great guy. <clears throat> he's a f- he's <clears throat> wet. If I was Miranda, I'd dick him around too. Yeah, he sounds kind of like a cock. He is total cock. Thanks, Hunter. He's like, I want to play basketball. I'm like, you are a five foot three Jewish man. You're not playing basketball. <laughs> if I was Miranda, I you would not what? respect I, I'm, him I'm at all. Actually, doubling down on this, Steve. <laughs> I tried to say you'd be Mr. Big. He's this like fucking big dick millionaire executive. Can, can you imagine Don being like, sorry, baby, I gotta go to France. Yeah, you're Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel very good about myself. Tom, I'll have me. to go watch and see how mean this <laughs> is. Exactly. I watched all six seasons. You guys are right. You the are right. I wanted for Steve to be cool, but he turns around and... Steve is having sex mar- with Miranda. You can't make that call. Mm. Is she not? She's she's vile. Mm. <laughs> she's not I hope bad. she hears this. She's too. not that bad. God, they're all they're all okay. Steve though is no, he's, he's ripped. The only good looking one is Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I like Samantha though. I think she's you just blinded kind of by how much of a fucking whore she is. She's not good looking. She's pretty good looking. No. Yeah. First, yeah. first season, Miranda's pretty rough. Yeah. My girl Charlotte knows her worth too. She makes him sign a million dollar contract if they get divorced because he wants a prenup. Oh yeah, Charlotte is the best though. Don's, <laughs> Don, Don puts his hand down. Enough. He's like roping yeah. outside of his mm-hmm. jeans. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of, she's kind of pretty. Isn't Did you she? see Miranda? Yeah. He saw season <clears throat> one Miranda too, so that's the worst <clears throat> of the worst. It's probably the best she gets. She only gets older. <laughs> that is how time works, Tom. <laughs> You're correct. That's how time works for women. For men, we age like wine. Mm-hmm. Suck it, female listeners. <laughs> how many female listeners do you think we actually have? Three. If you're a female, leave a comment down below with your address. And two of them security. are your, <laughs> oh, no. your phone number and your, your weight and everything. I'm always suspicious if I see a woman in any <laughs> comment section of anything I do. Because it's just like, why are they there? What are they up to? Probably because they might like your stuff, Tom. There's you no fucking what? way. There's no Don't way. Don't listen to this mm-hmm. asshole. Don't back me up. There's no way a woman. Don't listen to this asshole. Leave your name number. <laughs> your, 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 ASL. Whatever. Yeah, everything else. What's your AIM number? <laughs> <laughs> What's your AOL? It's like, what? <laughs> your AOL. You don't use AOL? You realize it was like the first, right? <laughs> your fucking first, chat room First, first is best. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe we, that's what we should all do. Maybe we should all watch Sex in the City and then do a I would love podcast that. about that. I would love that. 
canceled yeah episode. separate podcast <laughs> i was i would love i would love to meet up and watch a couple episodes of podcast every once in a while or the, sex watch a couple city, of yeah. sex city and then come back <clears throat> and then talk about what we've seen and by the end we'll be closer mm. i feel that way i feel it's true and we can watch the films too love the films love when they convert those jihadi women <laughs> Into like Prada loving the the, the second movie is is pretty pretty rough. <laughs> it's a pretty rough sit through. We have been thinking, fact, thinking about this thinking before. That, thinking that the women of the Sex and the City cast can overturn the fucking like political <laughs> and religious belief <laughs> of the Middle East <laughs> over over Samantha's hardcore a feminism. trillion dollars spent in the Middle East, and we could have just sent those four harlots it's and true. had it over with in a fucking. Oh yeah, we did feature. talk about this because I was like, "If we yeah. finish, you sit, do that speech, and then she, she just, just gets clubbed over the back. She head. just gets beaten to fucking. <laughs> Even more <laughs> realistic, <laughs> she would die a martyr. Hey, ironic, is it? Yeah, hmm. for her to die the martyr hmm. when she's trying to convert them to like Americanism, right, 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 and right, she's right, the one who dies right, a martyr. For... Right. Yeah, yeah, I'd be down. Sounds like a hoot. We could do a segment, you know. Our audience is going to love this. Mm-hmm. They should yeah, watch along so. with us. We should little, post yeah, our... A little Sex in the City. Talk about it for By next... Minutes. Well, we probably can't. When would we want to start this? Whenever? Mm-hmm. Trevor, you're... You, when when, are we sh- when should we start Sex in the And everyone's going to watch along with us. <laughs> and we're going to discuss every episode. <laughs> the 24th of November, Sex in the City podcast. Everyone needs to watch along. We'll watch the first three well, episodes. People, yeah. Is that it? it? T- we can watch more. I mean, I'm talking about uh, we can watch four episodes at a night. That's like probably about a movie, right? Kind of wanted to watch all of it. <laughs> you know, I will. I I swear to God, I will binge all of Sex and the City with you <laughs> in one sitting. How long is that? There's like there's eight or ten episodes a season, six seasons, so like sixty episodes. How long is an episode? I think thirty five minutes. And uh, two films. <laughs> and two films. I think you just you make it a sustained talking point. You don't have to be, eat the whole thing at once. You know, you can enjoy. We it come for back a while. every week for our Sex yeah, in the yeah. City segment. That is segment. true. You're, you're posing. Like a you're, book club. you're posing an interesting <laughs> question, which is: are, Do people want to actually follow along a book club type thing? Which we could do it in four four spurts. But then at that point, do we just literally become a Sex in the City podcast? <laughs> the whole background starts changing. Cosmopolitan. <laughs> We're just yeah, just yeah. drinking drinking cosmos the whole time. She asks herself the dumbest fucking questions at the end of and every episode. Thought, or throughout the entire episode. Yeah. yeah. And then I thought, is it selfish for me to want a penthouse? Oh, so there's like my a, own place. There's like a main one? Like a main character. Carrie. Yeah, you oh, Carrie, you Carrie's Carrie. the main Carrie's one. Carrie's the yeah. cool one. I yeah. thought I thought you said she's a cunt. She is. Yeah, she's the worst. I will say this. I'm not. I mean, no one cares about this. Okay, <laughs> but I just want to say, Carrie is the worst protagonist that's ever been. Like, there's been Walter White and Tony Soprano as like your anti hero. Carrie is actually the worst. She's devilish. She is like so self absorbed, so <laughs> like narcissistic, the fucking worst. And she de- and she does not get better. And then in the end, it just kind of works out for. Her. So you're just kind of like, isn't that? Fortunate. So it's one of those things where if you keep that <laughs> eye open and you look at everything with like an actual critical lens with her the entire time, you're just like, I hate this person. It's interesting to watch Sex in the City through the lens of like female fantasy of what like mm. the perfect life is. And she just gets like a train of like sexy, some are rich, some are rugged guys just run on her. And she gets to like write about it in her like very expensive New York yeah, apartment. Yeah, she writes an article called Sex and the City, but she also has a journal that she writes in, and you hear her excerpts from the journal. So that's when she's just like, "Was Miranda right? Was dating you, Gondon guy, racist for this like new time?" <laughs> it's not that, but it's just like <laughs> it's probably but, probably but, something but, like but that. It's, in there. But it's like that. Should women take back their power? And it's like question mark, and it shows her like walking through Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, but it's it's it, I, I love that show. It's actually very funny. Mm. It's pretty funny, and also there's just tons of titties and stuff in it too. So you know, pretty good. Do you remember the episode when Samantha gets her first uh, gray pube? Mm-hmm. Me too. It's a good one. They get their tits out. I always thought it was like a. No, it's HBO. Mm. No, no shit. Okay. It had a big. These run. are not tits you want to see. Oh, it had okay. a big one on TBS. These are not good tits. Mm. Okay. Remember, this is female like fantasy. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, the tits yeah. are kind of like droopy, but everyone you, loves you, them anyway. You get to right. see Charlotte naked though. Mm. And that's always nice. I forgot. You see Miranda naked the most, though. Go figure. 
That's probably the other. Good. The others knew that they had some fucking worth and value to put on those tits. Like, so yeah, I'll take my clothes off. <laughs> Miranda's like, "You want to see me naked, right?" <laughs> oh! Everyone's just like, Ugh. "No." We, She's like, "I'm gonna do it." I want to see if I can do it. We're. <laughs> this is turning into an early 2000s like the Man Show. <laughs> Don't you guys hate it when Miranda gets her ugly ass body out? And yeah. Naked? <laughs> and there's like big girls with like titties like jumping around the trampolines and stuff. That sounds awesome. And it's like fat Jimmy Kimmel, whatever. And he's just like, yeah. Anyways, you got a hard watch the show, but yeah, oh, I'm no, fuck no one well. brings up to Jimmy Kimmel that he was like on the most misogynistic show of all time, and like they acts like th that never happened. Some people get away relatively unscathed. I'm I think it was just because the show wasn't like massively popular, but it was like I forgot what network it was on. But what like, was the show? I've never heard. You ever heard the Man Show? No. Man Show was like back in the day. Like Joe Rogan wrote for it. Um, <laughs> But it was Jimmy Kimmel hosted, and then also who's the other guy? Adam Carolla. Adam Carolla, mm. and it was just all about like man shit. Like they would be like, "Yeah, this is the scores of this game." But then like the whole time there was chicks in bikinis jumping, like bouncing <laughs> on <laughs> trampoline, <laughs> literally <laughs> on it the whole time. And it was just like, and now it's like the wet T-shirt contest, and all the guys. And it would be only guys in the crowd. And it was just like, Hur! but it was like the most misogynistic shit. And that guy look got what we lost prime time. Look what we lost. As you a watch people. it and it's really not that good. It's actually pretty <laughs> shitty. It, sounds, it does sound terrible. The, this the set was yeah cool, but then again, like if you have a fucking network budget, obviously your set should be good. Yeah. So when uh, I mean, it does give me hope for in ten, fifteen years or so when you know we we have our own Hollywood talk shows. This won't come back to haunt us mm -hmm. at all because I mean, if Jimmy can get away with it, you're gonna get assassinated, Tom. I th I actually I would not be surprised if Tom killed me. You'd get assassinated. Don't do it, but I wouldn't be surprised. You'd get assassinated and it would be the best thing that happened to me and Don. Don't feel like you might be the reason I get assassinated? No. <laughs> no, I would never like... Don, Don would, would come would, to me at the 11th hour and be like, I couldn't do it. And crying and he'd be like, I just, I just can't was, quit and, you. And, and then, oddly enough, he has an odd accident and dies as well. Hmm. Well, leaving, yeah, leaving I, only I can me. believe. <laughs> leaving. Jimmy Kimmel did blackface on the man show. Jimmy Kimmel did blackface? It truly is hope for us all. Uh, I think they tried to stick him with Justin, that one. put that up on the Actually. screen. <laughs> yeah, Justin, yeah, let's see Jimmy Kimmel do blackface. Sometime at night, call below, look up in sky and say, what the hell going on up there? Do UFO live on other planet, phoning home like E.T.? Call below, read on TV about white people getting deducted by aliens, sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And then as we do the exit to the deal, uh, put like a downloaded clip of Jimmy Kimmel doing his closing monologue, but then just put blackface Jimmy Kimmel over his face. Thanks to Serena Williams and Jay Balvin. Apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time for him. Nightline is next. Sleep tight. And you know what? If the bed bugs bite, bite those little bastards right back. Thanks for watching. Good night.